The Secret of the Crystal Lake Once upon a time, in a village surrounded by towering mountains and lush forests, there lived a young girl named Clara. Clara was known for her adventurous spirit and her love for the mysterious Crystal Lake, a shimmering body of water hidden deep within the forest. The lake was said to hold magical powers, and Clara often dreamed of uncovering its secrets. One sunny afternoon, as Clara wandered near the edge of the forest, she discovered an ancient, weathered map half buried in the ground. The map depicted a path leading to the heart of the crystal lake, marked with symbols and riddles. Filled with excitement, Clara decided to embark on a journey to solve the mystery of the crystal lake. The map led Clara through the whispering woods, where the trees seemed to speak in hushed tones, guiding her along the path. As she ventured deeper, she encountered a wise old turtle named Tiberius. Greetings, young adventurer, Tiberius said in a slow, deliberate voice. I see you seek the secrets of the crystal lake. To uncover its magic, you must complete three tasks that will test your bravery, kindness, and wisdom. Clara nodded eagerly, ready to take on the challenges. Tiberius explained the first task, you must find the Pearl of Purity, hidden in the Cave of Echoes. It will cleanse the waters of the lake. With determination, Clara set off for the Cave of Echoes, a deep cavern filled with the sound of her own footsteps echoing off the walls. Inside, she found the Pearl of Purity, glowing with a soft, white light. She carefully placed it in her bag and returned to Tiberius. You have completed the first task, Tiberius said, impressed. For your second task, you must retrieve the Leaf of Life from the Enchanted Grove. Clara journeyed to the Enchanted Grove, a magical place filled with vibrant, blooming flowers and singing birds. In the heart of the grove, she discovered the Leaf of Life, a vibrant green leaf that pulsed with energy. She picked it and added it to her bag, then made her way back to Tiberius. Excellent, Tiberius said, nodding approvingly. Your final task is to bring the heart of the forest, a rare crystal that shines with the light of the moon, to the lake. Clara traveled to the heart of the forest, where she found the heart of the forest crystal, glowing softly in a clearing illuminated by moonlight. She gently picked up the crystal and followed the map to the crystal lake, a hidden oasis bathed in ethereal light. In the center of the lake, Clara found a stone pedestal. She placed the pearl of purity, the leaf of life, and the heart of the forest on the pedestal. As she did, a brilliant light enveloped the lake, and the waters sparkled with renewed magic. From the depths of the lake emerged a majestic water spirit named Serafina. Her hair flowed like water, and her eyes shone with kindness. Thank you, Clara, Serafina said, her voice like the gentle ripple of water. You have restored the magic of the crystal lake. You are a true hero. Clara watched in awe as the lake's magic spread throughout the forest, bringing new life and energy to the land. She felt a warm glow of pride and happiness, knowing she had accomplished something extraordinary. Serafina gifted her a small, crystal pendant as a token of gratitude and a reminder of her adventure. When Clara returned to her village, she was celebrated for her bravery and kindness. She often visited the Crystal Lake, where she was always welcomed by Serafina and the magical creatures. Her story was told for generations, inspiring others to believe in the power of nature and the magic of a pure heart. And so, the secret of the Crystal Lake became a beloved legend, a testament to the courage and determination of a young girl who restored the magic of the lake. The End